Today on FPV 101, we're going to talk about setting up a custom on-screen display in Betaflight. On-screen displays overlay important information on top of your FPV video feed in your goggles. Think of it like a heads-up display in a video game that keeps you aware of important information. Betaflight not only lets you choose exactly the data you want to see in your goggles, but also how you want it to be displayed. Before connecting to Betaflight, always make sure to remove your propellers. Not doing so can result in you severely damaging your drone, your workspace, or most importantly yourself, especially if you're planning on plugging in a battery. With your propellers off, you can now connect. Before going straight over to the OSD tab, first you're going to want to head over to Configuration. Scroll down to the Other Features menu. Here, you'll have to make sure that OSD is turned on. Once it is, you can go ahead and hit Save. After that, you can head over to the OSD tab. Here, you can choose exactly what you want your user interface to look like. You can either have it pretty clean or full of information. It all comes down to your preference. The first thing you need to do though, before jumping into the fun stuff, is you need to make sure you've chosen the right video format that your FPV camera uses. Different video formats have different frame lines, and by accidentally setting up the wrong one, you risk all of your information either being cut off or out of frame completely. Usually auto will detect which format you're using. To make sure though, you can check with your camera manual. Ours is NTSC, so we're gonna have to click that on. Now that we know we've got the correct frame line, we can start building our on-screen display. As you can see, there are a ton of different options to choose from. Some of the more standard elements that pilots add are battery voltage and a timer. These elements will allow you to know how much battery you have left and how long you've been in the air, so that you know when to land. Another is RSSI, or Received Signal Strength Indicator. This value allows you to determine the quality of communication between your transmitter and receiver, essentially making sure that you don't go out of range when you fly. You can go a step further by setting up alarms for these elements. By setting limits on flight data, you can create an on-screen alarm that will flash those elements on and off when the limits that you've preset are reached. Setting these types of alarms will help you better ensure that you're not only flying safely, but help you know when it's time to land. You can move these elements anywhere you want on your display. It's entirely up to you. You can even change the font by using the Font Manager button in the bottom right corner. Another miscellaneous but fun element that some pilots like to set up is craft name. You can click this on in OSD, but to create the actual name of the craft, you have to go back to the Configuration tab. Make sure you save any changes before navigating away from OSD. In Configuration, go down to Personalization and type in your craft name. Then hit Save. Head back into OSD, and then you can place the craft name where you want it. After you have your OSD set up and have saved, check in your goggles to make sure it looks the way you want. The OSD that you've created in Betaflight might not seem right to you once you look at it in the goggles, so it's important to make any adjustments now before you head out into the field. 